we will discuss unit step function, its properties and its Laplace transform in this video. This is also known as Heaviside function which is named after a British mathematician Oliver Heaviside. And the unit step function is denoted by u t minus a and is defined as 0 if t less than a and 1 if t greater than a. So we can draw its graph in this way. So let this be the point a. So we'll be denoting and uh, let this be the point 1. So this is the graph of the function. So when t is less than a, its value is 0 and when t is a greater than a, the value of the function is 1. We can consider the unit step function as a switch which is off up to the point t equal to a. After that, it is on with constant value 1. Now we will discuss some of its properties. So for that, we consider this function that f of t is equal to sin t. So this is the function. Suppose I am going to multiply this f t by unit step function. That is, I am going to find f of t into u of t minus 2. So the meaning of u t minus 2 is the value of this function is 1 after 2 and up to 2 its value is 0. So we can write this like this. So we can write this as 0 if t less than 2 and f of t when t greater than 2. That means in this graph, the, in the graph of this function, the part from 0 to 2 is switched off and it is on only when t equal to 2 onwards. So the effect of the function f of 2 into u of t minus 2 is switching off and on a function f of t. Now then another one is f of t minus 2 into u of t minus 2. So therefore we can write this as f of t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 as 0 if t less than 2 and this is f of t minus 2 if t less than 2. So now the effect of this function on f of 2 is effect of the unit step function is shifting the function f of t to the right hand side by 2 units. So therefore this is a shifting function So and this one is switching on and switching off a function. And another important use of this unit step function is that we can represent a function f of t which is defined in a finite interval a b with the help of unit step function. For that we consider this one. Let this be the function f of t and then f of t into u of t minus a can be represented like this. Let this be the point a. So this will be the function f of t into u of t minus a. That is part of this function from 0 to a is switched off. And now I will consider one more function that is f of t into u of t minus b. That is f of t into u of t minus b. That is let this be the point b. So f of t into u t minus b means that is this part. So therefore consider this part of the function in the finite interval a b. That is this one. This part. So I can write this as f of t into u t minus a. That is this function in black color. That is f of t into u t minus a minus f of t into u t minus b. 
So the function defined in the interval a and b can be represented with the help of unit step function that is f of t into u t minus a minus f of t into u t minus b. So we can write this as f of t into u of t minus a minus u of t minus b. So the one application of this representation is in writing rectangular pulse in a circuit. We can write, consider this one. That means a certain voltage is applied at a time A. So let it be T equal to 2. At the time T equal to 2, a certain voltage is applied and it is removed later when T is equal to 4. So now we can represent this one with the help of unit step function. So you can write this as V of T is equal to U of T minus 4 minus U of T minus 2 if this value is 1. Okay, so if it is 1, you can write like this u of t minus 4 minus u of t minus 2. So now, we will discuss Laplace transform of unit step function. So Laplace transform of unit step function is, by definition, it is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into u t minus a dt. Now we will substitute the value of u t minus a that is 1 when t greater than a. So you can write it as a to infinity e raised to minus st into 1 dt. Now integrate e raised to minus st by minus s from limits are from a to infinity. And now the upper limit is minus infin infinity. So you will get value of the function as 0. So you will get this as 0 minus and now you put t equal to a here. So you will get e raised to minus a s by s. This is true when s greater than 0. So this is another formula which you have to add to your formula list. Laplace transform of u t minus a is e raised to minus a s by s. So we have discussed unit step function and its properties and also Laplace transform of unit step function.